what's good youtube it's from chris and i'm here with another video and i got a special guest with me this is jalen you want to introduce yourself uh, my name is jalen white um, i'm happy to be on this page today and just do good business with him and talk about a lot of good things today so i'm excited to be here uh, thank you for coming he's one of our my good friends that from my childhood friend he's also plays basketball for ntsu and there's a bunch of other cool stuff so y'all can go check out his page i will put it on the screen for y'all so y'all can see that and today's video we're not on the farm as y'all can see uh we're going to be talking about uh positive manifestation and positive affirmations so you want to kind of define what that is for you so positive manifestation to me is just believing in certain things and speaking positivity over it whether you you know you want to chase a career in engineering or whether you want to chase a career in home building or things like that you know just speaking positivity over the situation and believing in yourself and you know you might not be exactly where you want to be at the moment but speaking positivity over it just allows you to continue to work hard and further your knowledge in that realm or whatever you believe in Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of what I would say it is is speaking positivity. I know in my life I've uh, used it. Uh, one thing I told myself is that I want to be different from all my other peers, and I tell myself that when I wake up because I know that there's a lot of people that look up to me, a lot of people that have a lot invested into me. So I try to keep that in mind and one thing that I use uh, I've been doing recently is I've been listening to more uh, gospel music instead of the rap music and I could tell you from my experience my days go a whole lot better than how it would be because yeah and I get blessings and God's been good to my, me in my life since I decided I'm going to be different from everybody else. Is there anything that you use? So there's things that I um, just specifically write down that I want to do in the future that I consistently read to myself. Um, I tell myself that I'm smart. I tell myself that I'm great. I tell myself that I can be legendary, you know, and I say those things to myself, not because I am those things now, but I say those things to myself because that's what I strive to be and that's what I want to mm -hmm. be in the future. So. I just try to speak positivity over everything that I want and everything that I believe in. And it's done me well as well, you know. Um, since the pandemic, I feel like we've all been in a negative mind state, kind of, you know, just being yeah. stuck in the house and not being allowed to be around our peers as much as usual. So I thought it was just very important for me to start doing positive affirmations and just speaking positivity over my life and over the people around me as well. Yeah, I feel like the pandemic, to me personally, taught me a lot. It kind of put everything into perspective because, like, we're all used to, like, running around, doing this, 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 and this. But it kind of, like, made everybody sit down and really think about themselves and the things that really are important. That's your family and yourself, mostly. And it kind of showed me that, like, this, this is my circle. Like, my family is my circle. So it's like, these are like my rider dots. They'll be there with me when I'm going through ups and downs and all that stuff. And it also showed me myself that I can, areas I can work in, cause I mean, I like being out and about and running around and stuff, but it's like, that kind of showed me that that's not the way I need to be doing things. So it kind of pushed me to want to be the better than the others around me. So that fuck it helped me person uh, do you have any uh, affirmations for yourself that you are striving for right now so some things that i try to tell myself is that i'll be a great business owner um i want to open a landscaping business and i want to do things to help the community as far as public speaking so I tell myself that I'll be a great motivational speaker someday. I tell myself that I'll have a great business. I tell myself that I will be a great basketball player in the future, you know? Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, these are all things that, that I'm not right now, but that I'm working towards in the future. So 
I just try to tell myself things that I believe in and that I want. And, you know, I continue to work towards it. And I feel like if I was saying, <clears throat> if I was telling myself, you know, negative things, mm -hmm. it would be harder for me to believe that I could one day achieve, yeah. you know, get the things that I want to. Yeah, get in your head. Yeah, it gets in your head and messes with your work, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you're working towards something, I just feel like if you speak positivity over it, while you're working towards it, it just feels a lot better while you're still in the mud, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I tell myself, because I, I kind of get in my own head, because, like, there's different things that I want to do, but I'll get in my own head, and, like, after watching your videos and stuff, it kind of shows me, like, yeah, you got to just be positive, just work towards it, because I feel like our biggest enemy, I guess, is ourselves. We try to put... Oh, no, I can't do that. It's too big for me. But God on your side, you can really do anything you put your mind to. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. I also uh, just finished a business, or just opened a business. And it, I started off just doing just a couple yards around, like a church and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then just word of mouth, it just continued to grow. And I'm blessed for it. And that's just God. Uh, one of his gifts that he's given me was to just want to help people. And I was just doing it just to help people. And now I'm getting customers out of this. Oh, I heard you cut yards. So I want you to cut my yard. It's just been a blessing in my life. It allows me to be able to use my gift to uh, show God to others. Is how I look at it. Yeah, definitely. I feel like anytime you you strive to bless others, you'll always receive your blessings for yourself on the back end, you know? Yeah. That's, I just feel like that's always true. And, you know, I'm proud of you for what you're doing, most definitely, because a lot of people say they want to do something and they say they want to help people, but you're actually going out and you're actually putting in the groundwork to be able to do it, you know, on a daily basis. So that's strong. And I know you're definitely inspiring others. You definitely inspire me to you know want to follow in your footsteps and open my own business like i said i'm in the process of doing that now so mm -hmm. to see you doing it it's only going to inspire me to do it even more so mm -hmm. i'm proud of you man and i want you to keep going mm -hmm. keep believing in yourself for sure because i'm always believing you and have your back for sure mm -hmm. thank you man. have your back too what's what was your reasoning behind wanting to start your own business so i just feel like The people who are on the top, so to speak, yeah, they're all our owners. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the people who are workers, you can work for an extremely long time and add up your money. But the people who own and have people work for them, they attain wealth a lot quicker. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's really why I wanted to do it. And also, I just always been one to want to work for myself rather than working for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. Same thing with me. I just want to be able to be on top. And like, some of y'all know, like, I work on a farm. And it kind of just fell into my lap. He offered me a job and I took it because I was six, I think, you know, I was thinking 16 at the time. And I took it and I learned so much just from being there. I learned about the business side. So that kind of helped implement it into me and my business. Like, I'm see what things I want to incorporate in my business and he I learned so much like mechanic work all that stuff I learned a bunch so God what I realized is that God's plan might not always be how we thought it would but it always works out for the good because when I started working there at 16 years old I would never I would never thought I would have been here on that now starting my own business at 19 years old and yeah, God just works in marvelous ways because I would have never imagined work just being a farmer would have turned into a whole bunch of more avenues for me to use my gift and to help spread God's word. So as far as you like having a younger brother, how does it feel when you accomplish certain things and you see he's not necessarily just following your footsteps, but he has things that he wants to accomplish as well. You know, mm -hmm. how does that feel? Uh, it feels good to me. It's like, 
he, because I know that he watch, looks up to me and watches everything I do. So it's kind of like, feels good because I know if he sees that I can do it, then he should know that he can do it with no problem. Because I didn't make it the easy way. Like a lot of people say, oh, you work on a farm. Like I don't believe that you work on a farm. But I know that when I accomplish something and he is right there with me all the time, so he can see when I'm struggling or when I get down and stuff like that. And if he can see me go through that process, then he can know, oh, my brother went through all this stuff and he still made it up. So that means I can do the same thing. That's yeah. how I look at it. That's real. That's how I feel too. That's why I feel it's so important for us to create content and then spread light too, because you know, when people watch your videos or when people watch my page and watch my videos, they can see like everything isn't always sweet. You know, mm -hmm. everything isn't always perfect, but when you see other people do it, you can gain inspiration and know like you can do it too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, like, like I watch like other YouTubers and stuff, and like I see you watching them like when they're starting in college and now they're making six figures and everything else. But when they show that they started in the mud, as you can say, it's kind of like wow, they started here and now look at them. So it kind of gives me motivation to say, look, I might not be down as bad as them, but I'm still down here. And I could, if they went through all of this and made it, then I mean, I could do the same thing. So that, that's what I hope to do when I'm posting these YouTube videos and other things. I'm trying to want to be able to motivate others and help spread God's word through videos. Absolutely. Yeah, motivation and inspiration is like, to me, it's the most powerful thing on the planet. If you can inspire somebody to do what they believe in off of showing what you do and what you believe in, that's just cool to me. So yeah, that's definitely what I want to be a part of and what I believe in for sure. Yeah, and yeah, I really do respect respect you because I've known you for a while and it's, it's been great for the be able to have you in my corner because I can always send you a text to Talk about anything in here, always right there, and I appreciate that. And I hope I could, I aspire to do that for other people. And, but I really appreciate your friendship and brotherhood. No doubt, man. I appreciate you too, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to say thank you again for coming on the page. Uh, if you're watching this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I feel like we got to do more of these like more often or something because I enjoyed it personally just getting to talk about it. But yeah, absolutely. This was the first of many. Yeah, first, of, first many. of many. So uh, be sure to comment and go uh, follow his page. He does a bunch of motivational speaking and a bunch of positive stuff. So be sure to check him out and I'll see you on the next video.